every week is the same i start i don't know what to say i edit together a bunch of bunch of crap better yeah. how has everyone's week been Hope it's been enjoyable. Not as uh, not as hot this week. It's a plus. <laughs> <sighs> this week, I am making, as I sort of hinted at in the last video, I'm going to be making a bralette. Ah, uh, what is that? That is a devil bug. Or is it two bugs? Fugging. What? What is that? Why is it doing that? You wait, spot of Satan! I watched a tutorial. I want to say like a year ago. It was by, uh, I mentioned her already in the video, but she's amazing, so. It's by a um, YouTuber named With Wendy. Helpful. After watching the video, I always wanted to try to make a bralette because it looked actually simple enough. Something in the realm of Julie, Julie capabilities. I thought, hey, now's the perfect time. I might as well show the rest of you just how small my boobs are. If you don't know what a bralette is, and you'll find out soon enough, it's like a bra, except it doesn't have an underwire. Um, it's usually a lot more lacy less supportive, essentially just kind of a nipple cover, which is great for me. Perfect. That's the only real reason I wear a bra most of the time anyway. <laughs> and you know what? I don't even, I don't even do that most of the time. So it's already been 10 minutes. That's how long I've been actually just sitting here eating cherries most of the time. I don't really have anything left to say about it. I'm making a bralette to match the underwear I made last week. Enjoy. When you don't have anything else to say, just be nasally, because it's so funny, right? <laughs> no pattern making this time, laddies and gents. The pattern I'll be using is not mine at all, even a little bit. It's from a kick-ass lady from YouTube named With Wendy. I've linked her channel in the description, as well as a link to the pattern. Those two sale-looking pieces will make up your booby cover. I could have folded the fabric in half and cut out two pieces at once, but I wanted to be a little bit picky about what fabric pattern I would have on my chesticles. I followed the same process for cutting the pieces out as I did in my last video. Pin the pattern, trace it with chalk, then cut it out using pinking shears. If you aren't folding the fabric in half like myself, make sure that when you go to trace your next booby cover, you flip the pattern pieces over so that you will get the opposite shape of what you just traced. Once everything is cut out, place the pieces right sides together, matching up the curves. Make sure you are keeping each set together, smaller sail shapes with the larger one, not large with large or small with small. You maniacs. Pin along the curve and then sew it together. Now we have two nice little triangles for your child-sized chest. I wanted to use the same black lace that I would used for the pair of underwear, but was pretty dang sure I wouldn't have enough of it, so I went and bought some more. Unfortunately, Fabricland didn't have the exact same print or thickness, but it is black and elasticized, so I can work with it. I'm going to use the thicker lace for the bottom of the bralette and the thinner lace for the straps. I wrapped the lace around my body and marked where it felt tight yet comfortable. I'm not even sure what I was doing here. I think I was trying to gauge where to place the boob covers on the lace, but realized that was a really inaccurate way of doing it. Instead, I used the sports bra I was wearing to give me a width of how far apart to place them. I came up with 1.75 inches. I found where the middle of the lace was and placed a pin that measured out 1.75 inches. I feel like I'm lazily explaining this part. There's a reason for that. It's going to change and change and change again, so just bear with me. I'm attaching the lace differently to the bralette than I did with my underoos. I'm leaving the fabric of the bralette with a raw edge and using the lace to hide that. Place the wrong side of the lace on the right side of the fabric. I wasn't very technical with how I had to place it on the fabric, I just did whatever looked nice. I found that when I placed and pinned down the triangles to the lace, that when I pulled and stretched the lace, the B covers were, even for me, excessively far apart. 
So I unpinned everything, moved it closer together, and tried again. I also finally cut the lace that is meant to go around the width of my body because I was getting annoyed maneuvering around it. When I sewed the lace and fabric together, there wasn't enough stiffness to either piece of material for the zigzag stitch to lie nicely. Instead, it bunched up and ruined my life. But I have an idea, a trick I learned from watching way too many tutorials. Take a regular old piece of paper and place it underneath what you're sewing. Yes, you're actually sewing the piece of paper to your garment. This will give the lace and satin enough rigidity so that it won't bunch up again. And it actually worked. The stitch fell nicely. The only thing was now I had to remove all of those little bits of paper from my stitch. It did take an annoying amount of time, however, it was an easy solution to my problem. However, I attached it to the right side of my garment, which I shouldn't have done because I did end up accidentally pulling on the thread a bit while removing the paper, which makes for a messier stitch line on the front of your garment. Next, I estimated how much lace I wanted for the one side of the triangles. The other side will be a longer length as it will turn into the strap, so I'm just focusing on the inner part of the triangles for now. When I had a length I liked, I cut out another piece the same length. I forgot I shouldn't have sewn all the way across the bottom of the triangles because I want to hide the raw edge of the inner triangle lace using the bottom bra lace. So I stitch ripped a little and then pinned the lace in place. Then sew that bish up, again using a piece of paper, but this time I sewed it to the wrong side of the garment. Once that was done, I stitch ripped a bit on the outside of the triangle, pinned the lace in place, and sewed it up. I'm going to figure out strap length once it's sewn down so I don't have to stab myself too much with needles. I did some finagling off camera because there was a lot of boob action, and I guess YouTube frowns upon that. For the X rated version of this video, call 555 5555. I'm honestly so funny. I resized the lace that is going to go around my torso with a safety pin and used more safety pins to figure out my strap length and positioning on the back of the bralette. I also, as you can see, want the straps to be crossed at the back. I noticed at the top of the triangle the lace was folding over a bit when I wore it, so I got as close to the edge of the lace while I was sewing it and again used some of that there papier. After sewing the strap to the back of the lace, I found that my boob covers were still too far apart, so I stitch ripped them off. But then I also changed up my entire game plan. I found that I wasn't getting enough support with just the lace for straps, so I'm going to add in some braided elastic here behind the lace. This width is perfect for the straps, it's about a half centimeter. It's not my first schwass for the bottom lace of the bra, but it's already here in my house, so I'm going to make do. I ended up cutting a new piece of thick lace because like I said, I wanted it to be less stretched out when wearing it, so I needed a longer length to sew onto the elastic. I wrapped the elastic around my torso, same as I did with the lace, and found a length that I liked. Then I sewed the ends together. I went back and forth about a million times with an extremely small zigzag stitch. Did you happen to notice that the angle of my triangles looked sort of weird for how boobs are shaped? That's because, like an idiot, I had them backwards this entire time. For cover placement, I again found the halfway point for the elastic and then measured out from it. I'm not going to give you the measurement I used because guess what? Doesn't matter. It's going to change AGAIN! When I sewed the covers to the elastic, I used a small zigzag stitch. I went back and forth between 2.5 by 2.5 and 3 by 3 for the width and length of the stitch. I also centered the stitch in the middle of the elastic. I did not use the paper trick for this because the elastic is stiff enough so that the stitch won't bunch. After pinning the thicker lace all the way around the bottom, I tried the bralette on to make sure that it was actually looking how I wanted it to. I also managed to not stab myself with pins somehow. And, as foreshadowed, it was still too fucking goddamn far apart from my dang old chesticles. So I stitch ripped again and repinned so that the lace was actually overlapping in the center. After sewing that, I repinned the thick lace to the bottom. Because I didn't want the lace to look too stretched, I left it a longer length than the elastic by a couple of inches. While pinning it, I tugged on the elastic a little, but did not tug on the lace, and laid the lace flat against the taut elastic, then pinned it in place. Sew it all up when you're done pinning. I didn't pin the ends of the lace down yet because I haven't decided how exactly I'm going to sew that and make it look nice. As you sew the elastic, pull it taut, and if you have to, tug it very, very gently on the opposite end so that the sewing machine isn't struggling to move it along. I again found a strap length and position on the back that I liked while the garment was on. I'm not going to tell you how long the strap was because I definitely didn't measure it. I cut another piece of elastic the same length as the sized out piece so that I had two equal lengths. 
Then I did the same with the lace. I used the center of the back of the bralette as a base for how far apart I wanted the straps at the back to fall. I went with 2.5 inches from the center. The lace wasn't actually too much longer than the elastic, so I didn't have to tug on the elastic too much while pinning it together. Then sew them bitches up. Rawr. Once that was done, I pinned the straps on the back to the spots that I marked out and sewed them in place. I did a couple of seams across while attaching them to make sure the straps wouldn't bust off. For the lace ends, I decided to lay one side on top of the other and fold the end that was visible to give it a slightly cleaner look. This honestly isn't the best way to finish it, it was just easy, so I did it. After sewing it, I cut off any bits that looked awkward. I also found that the front lace was rolling down when I wore the bralette, so I sewed along the top of it very close to the edge of the lace to keep it from rolling. Because of the texture and color of the lace, the extra stitch is pretty much invisible, which was a bonus. And that's it, guys. Is she done? Just look at how amazing this bralette turned out! It's so well fitting and cute! You might be thinking, that's a shame, she has to cover it up by wearing a silly old shirt. But don't you worry because there are plenty of appropriate and normal situations where you can wear just a bralette. Like when you're washing the dishes. Or verbally abusing your friend's dog. You'll never amount to anything, Max! You ever feel the need to nap in your landlord's mantle bed? It's great for that. I'm gonna my pants. It's stunning for working out in. Oh my God. Or sneaking into your friend's room and trying on their clothes. Why not wear it to your next girl's night? He said, what? Or when you're stealing things from the people you live with. And it's absolutely perfect for shooting low-budget adult films. Nothing! I'm a turd. Let us do the outro. Okay. Hello and welcome back. I've been waiting to make that porn joke for so long now. I make it in the real world, in the human living being world, <laughs> to people, and it's funny every time to me because I'm a child. So thank you and you're welcome, but also thank you. Get out, get out, no one invited you. How did you all like my booby covers? Do you think they covered my boobies well? Thumbs up if you liked how covered my boobs were. But seriously, give this video a thumbs up. Um, just a few things about the bralette. First of all, actually shocked it turned out looking this well. I basically say that every week. How I'm like, oh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm shocked that I can do that. I don't know why I doubt myself so much in sewing. Um, maybe just from failures of the past. But yeah, anyway, ha super happy with how it turned out. Eh. <laughs> I thought later, um, I thought later about this, but I realized like you can you can add stuff to it. You could even f <laughs> okay. You know how bras work, how they look. <laughs> well, you could add like straps here and here to give it a little added. Sass added pizzazz. Another thing, you can actually get real like bra clasps so that um, you don't have to just tuck it over your head every time. You can make it more legit. But the sweet thing about if you're making it for yourself, you can really alter it so it fits you kind of somewhat perfectly. So it's not as important to have kind of the three, three, how did I throw that? And to have the three rows of clasps um just in case it doesn't fit you <laughs> i mean elastic will naturally stretch out over time so i guess this is nice but again if you made it yourself then you can just freaking resize it once it stretches out or if 
lose weight or gain it. Maybe you had a lot of cookies that day. Maybe you just popped out 12 babies and they're all sucking at your teats. You can resize it. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel if you want to keep seeing me mostly naked all the time. Sex sells. <laughs> it wasn't like, oh god, it's in my room now. That bug is gonna f me up. <laughs> It wasn't actually like some plan to start making videos where I'm, I show a lot of skin. Um, one, that's just the person I am in general. Two, I've been planning to make it underwear and a bralette for a long time. I just thought it'd be nice if you could all come on the journey with me. <laughs> if you want to follow me on Instagram and a Facebook, um, look up at Hools and Thread, and you know, it jerked off into that, uh, and hit that little follow like add all that crap i will see you next week for those of you that couldn't handle the amount of flesh i was showing you'll be happy to know next week i'll be slightly more covered up bye 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 goodbye bye goodbye <laughs>